Cowboys receiver Dez Bryant, Broncos receiver Demarius Thomas, Chiefs pass rusher Justin Houston, and Giants defensive end Jason Pierre-Paul topped the list of five players whose teams kept them from hitting the open market next week by using the franchise tag on Monday. Just as interesting was the list of players who did not get tagged and now are on course to cash in elsewhere beginning March 10th if long-term deals can't be reached first. The Lions opted not to franchise and Dominican Sue was going to be seeking the biggest deal ever for an interior defensive lineman. He still could end up back with the Lions who simply weren't going to shell out almost $27 million for one year of Sue's services. Big money awaits elsewhere though and teams with defensive minded coaches and major cap resources such as Oakland, Jacksonville and even Indianapolis could be in play. Two top receivers also were not tagged, Philadelphia's Jeremy Macklin and Green Bay's Randall Cobb, who now are in position to set the wide receiver market. The Eagles figure to remain in the mix to retain Macklin. The Packers are going to have to compete with the likes of the Oakland Raiders, who some in the league believe are prepared to pay Cobb $12 million a year, top money and then some for a slot receiver. Meanwhile, the Broncos decided to tag Demarius Thomas and not tight end Julius Thomas, who has 24 touchdown catches over the past two seasons. Perhaps the most intriguing decision of the day was made by the defending Super Bowl champion New England Patriots, who decided to franchise place kicker Steven Goskowski and not safety Devin McCourty, who would have cost him $9.6 million for one season. Like other free agents, McCourty can officially start fielding offers on Saturday when the legal tampering period begins.